What's up guys and the day is here. The most impressive specs on a phone in the world right now, Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is official. It's a huge day for the evolution of smartphone cameras. For the first time, a smartphone is rocking a camera sensor that is almost as big as a professional camera. I kid you not, Xiaomi didn't even compare this phone to a smartphone. They went straight after Sony's professional digital camera RX100 Mark 7. They went all in with them side by side comparisons, particularly in the low light situation and you can see Mi 11 Ultra is doing a better job, brighter images, more detail as well. This huge sensor combined with night mode, it obviously came on top. They also did this extreme comparison by turning off all the lights and uh, Mi 11 Ultra is just noticeably better. I really want to see how it performs in real life but it makes you think that smartphones beating digital cameras and since they are so easy to carry around, that ease of use plus that beyond professional camera capability, perfect recipe to kill the need of having a professional camera for most people. Again, I really want to see how this GN2 Samsung sensor performs in real life. I hope to God that Samsung one day uses the GN2 in one of its own phones and possibly even give it to Google for the Pixel 6. Now the actual design looks stupidly big, I mean this is the most insane camera bump you'll ever see on a smartphone. It's so big that they decided to put a display on the back that actually offers various functions. So it can show notifications, time and date, even a cool charging animation. You can also capture the sharpest selfies in the world using the outer display while using the main 50 megapixel GN2 sensor. Now apart from this main sensor, Mi 11 Ultra is rocking a IMX586 ultra wide lens. It's got a 48 megapixel periscope camera system that allows it to zoom all the way up to 120 times. Of course, that is all software. The actual lossless zoom is up to 5 to 7x level. Now, when we talk about specs and purely just specs, this phone is the most impressive in the world right now. A 120 hertz bright OLED display with 1700 nits brightness, 67 watt fast charging, 120x zoom, some insane wireless charging standard, Snapdragon AAA, 12 gigs of RAM, all this package under a thousand dollar. Yes, it actually costs less than thousand dollar in China, an insane value for the price. Now Xiaomi really went after Sony, but does Sony have any response to this at all? Well, they were working on IMX800 sensor, which was rumored to be a one inch smartphone sensor, but apparently it's not happening because Huawei P50 series is coming with a IMX707 Y sensor, so it's clearly not as big as Samsung's GN2. So this clearly makes Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra the king of smartphone sensor size. Now Xiaomi is not done, they're actually going to be announcing some more crazy stuff tomorrow, so that could be a custom Xiaomi CPU, a foldable Mi Mix smartphone that is making a comeback, and most, important, and most importantly, the liquid lens technology that we talked about, which is similar to how human eye operates, so that is actually really, really exciting. Make sure to subscribe with notifications on so that you don't miss any update. Also in the news, Galaxy S21 FE is indeed coming later down the year. We actually have a leak regarding its color. According to the league, the S21 FE will be available in at least four color options including gray, silver, pink, violet, plain white and possibly a fifth color option, light green. Now other than the color option, the S21 FE will likely adopt the same front camera sensor as the Galaxy A72 so we'll be looking at a 32 megapixel front camera. As for the back sensor, it will mostly adopt the same specs as the S21 slash S20 FE. Now Samsung has been winning the sales game recently with its Galaxy S21 series. According to latest news, in South Korea, Samsung just exceeded 1 million sales number for its S21 lineup. Seems like a massive success compared to last year. So that's all the latest news. Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra is looking ultra impressive. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.